Hey guys, and welcome to Diecast Reviews. So I'll be doing a review on Jason Hubcap, who was in the 2016 Paris Parts Market series. He is number 5 out of 6, and I got him for Christmas. 2016, and it's 2017 March, so now we got him out of the description for the series is Finn McMissile and Holly Shift will chase a sp suspicious looking character through the crowded aisles of a Paris Parts Market. So, not really a suspicious looking character, because he was an informant. He just... Didn't want to be noticed by uh, the other parts worker guys. So. Jason was the one who was actually in the garage where Tom Bay, Tom Bay, made her Holly and Finn talked. Um, yeah. And uh, there's something I want to talk to you guys about. I'll be doing this new thing on my channel where I'm gonna implement something called the "What the Viewers Want," and so I think it's gonna be on Sundays. Yeah, it's gonna be on Sundays. And every Sunday, I'll have just, I'm going to be reviewing a car. I'm going to start off with Jason Hubcap. But in that review, I'll add in five other options. And you can vote for which one you want me to review. So, the five options for next Sunday are Nurse GTO, who's, the, who's part of the Rescue Squad Mayor of Cars 2 and Walmart Only series. Jason Hubcap, it's in here. Takeshi, who was a 2013 Super Chase. Dale Karchuk with Headset, who's in the uh, 2017 World Grand Prix Reporter Series. Carney Brayken, who was a chase in the 2012 line and was a uh, not like on the port of, like on the port of Corsa background. And Precision Series Doc Hudson. So yeah, um, there'll be a poll um, right here. Um, on the cards, the cards that pop up, that will be the poll. You guys can vote on what you want, and what gets the most, and whatever gets the most votes before next Sunday, I will be reviewing that. So, yeah, you feel free to vote. And let's get out to the review of Jason Hook up here. So let's open him up. So here is Jason out of the package, and he looks very, very nice. He is kind of small. If I just pull up the thing, you can kind of see how small he is compared to McCoy. Like Rip. So, I don't know if he was actually that small in the movie, because we didn't really get a shot of him and Finn right by each other. It was just like, Finn yelled, get out of here, pretty much. He'll suddenly just like, get out, leave, leave, move. Or something like that. I don't know. Pretty much what he said was, get out. Something like that. I mean, he just yelled at him and Jason left. So clearly it was something strong. And uh, I think Jason's original co color, he was a lemon. You can definitely see he was a lemon before uh, he turned, uh, well, he was a lemon all the time. Just that he used to be a lemon that was in tip top shape and then he became a that's a good lemon down here he's still in pretty good shape no rust on the bottom <laughs> but um see he his main color was like peach and then he got rusty and then here it looks like a door fell off so he got a blue door so i guess this whole side just fell off right here so he got a yellow part back here i don't think that's a door i don't know how that fell off but he didn't get a yellow one and this side nothing fell off and he stayed a uh, peach his expression definitely is worried because he was worried and not very happy when Finn just literally forced him out. He has a little roof rack, which is very nice. And he's a very nice one. I really like him. He barely has a license plate, and I think he, he should get a new one. He's so probably not going to get away with that too much from the French police. I mean, you can kind of read. I don't know if that's just my or it's actually like that in all the die casts. You can barely read that. And then, like, uh, Z... A six eight. I don't know what that says. I don't even know what that means. I don't think Jason's a real model. He could be actually, but I don't think he is. So if he is a real model, that that, that definitely is uh, something to do with the car model. If he isn't a real model, then I don't know what that is. And you might be thinking he's the same model as Brian Gierowski. They're actually different. They're not the same. 
Cause Jason, Jason is smaller. He's like, you can see Brian is longer. So, Jason is not the same model as Brian. They might be the same like car make, like the same make. Definitely not the same model. No, with this type of trunk club, I don't know. I mean, this is where a trunk of Latimer trunk of is. That's the trunk of family. But trunk of might have not only made this car. This might also be a trunk of. Just a different type of trunk of. This could also be a different type of trunk of. So I'm not sure. So. He has a unique model all to himself, which is pretty nice. Let's see, is that what's that? What's that? Is this a logo? Of car? I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think it's a real car logo. So I don't know. It should be a fake car logo. There's a Trunk Cubs logo. A1. Wait, does this say the same thing? Yeah, these things say the same thing. It's both K162. I was wrong. It's a K160, not K168. So, Jason might also be a Trunk Cub. Just trying to find out what Molly is. Because they both say the same thing. It doesn't say anything on Brian Gierlewski. Says it on Vladimir there. So he could be in the same model as Vladimir Trunko. Not the same model, but the, the same. He could be a Trunko. So he's a very nice one. One of my favorite um, Paris Parts Market cars. He's kind of fun. He's very happy. Definitely not. He's never happy in the movie. Um, he's just in his garage, trap fixing something. I don't know what he was doing. Maybe just like looking around his garage and the friend just gets in there. Yells at him, and Jason just leaves as soon as, as fast as he can, as fast as the his uh, trunk of the wheel can carry him. Uh, um, yeah, Finn just completely yelled at him to get out. So that was pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, I have no clue what they said. If you know what they said, please let me know, cause I don't speak French. So if you if you speak French, if you if you're from France or you're from Canada, where they speak like Montreal, they speak French there. Or if you if you just speak French at all and you know what they said, please let me know. Cause I'm kind of interested to find out. It's like he just yelled at him to get out, and I guess and Jason left. So that's where he appeared in the movie. And um, on the card, his eyes are actually brown. They're like a light brown, but then on the die cast, they're like pretty dark brown. Like they're more of a grayish brown on there, and then they're just a brown, brown. On the uh, card up, so I don't know if it's accurate. So I mean, didn't get that much screen time, and the expression is pretty accurate to what it was in the movie. So, very nice car indeed. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and do feel free to vote in the poll of which car you want me to review next. And uh, thanks for watching, and bye bye.